today with a project share. This is for a swap that I joined over at Creating the Crafty Life and this is an altered uh, spring canvas swap and my partner is Deb and she is Crafty Texas Woman. I will try and remember to link her down below um, as well as link to the canvas that she sent me which is super gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Um, so this is the mixed media canvas that I created for her. Uh, it had to be uh, at least six by six, but no bigger than six by eight. I think I might be a little bit over that, but um, I think Deb will understand. So this is the canvas that I started with. Now, this is just one of the regular uh, Michaels canvases. And the first thing I did was I gessoed it. And I think they already come prepped, but I did gesso it. Then uh, I sprayed it with a couple different Tattered Angel sprays. And um, I think they were uh, Rouge uh, Golden Cranberry and I think Cork were the three that I sprayed it with. And um, it just kind of gave it a shine. Then I took my, uh, oh my gosh, my, what is that called? It is called texture paste and I colored it with um, some, what did I color it with? Oh, uh, I colored it with uh, this Opal Magic paint, I believe. Or did I color it with the Glimmer Mist? I can't remember, but I colored it. And then I used a stencil. This is a Tim Holtz stencil and this is the one that comes in this set. It is the mixed media one. And it comes in this one. Is this one? I don't know if I have a name on it. Samper's Anonymous. I don't know if there's a name, but anyway, this is the stencil that I use all over. Um, I did put a bit of Chinese braid around the edge of it. There's a little bit of lace here, and um, here I did a couple layers here. Uh, the flowers are from my stash, and I believe they are all Little Birdie. Some of them I colored with the, uh, where is it, um, the Glimmer Mist in Golden Mint, and, oops, and also this one I want to say is Kiwi. So a mixture of the greens together. The the pink ones are a mixture of the golden cranberry and also the rouge. So the I kind of used both of them. I wet them and then I sprayed them to get the color to kind of spread a little bit. The little butterflies are also from the little birdie and yeah so that's what I did there is a doily in the back that I sprayed uh, with the golden cranberry and then I blotted it and dried it with my heat tool and that kind of toned down the color a little bit there's some lace along this edge right here um, this little uh, piece I sprayed with the glimmer mist again and this one was just in the um, just in the golden mint color. I didn't use the kiwi. Uh, and then this, and this is from uh, 49th and Market. This is just a little wood piece that I had in my stash and I used the glimmer, no, did I? Oh, I used uh, this, the Art Anthology Rose Gold Wax and then also the Opal Magic paint. Um, so I use those. I just haven't put them away. That's why they're right there. And um, let's see what else. Um, this is just a little die cut and I used uh, the Prima debutante paper just um, here. <laughs> and then I, um, I had, uh, th there's a frame. And then this is just a photo, it's just a printer, uh, uh, just a print from my stash. And then there's a frame here. And I had used the wax all around it, uh, but I didn't think that it had enough texture to it. The Love Unconditional 
is uh, from Saw Crafters from years ago. And again, I sprayed them, uh, this one with both kiwi and also the lime, and then this one with the cranberry and also the rouge color. So uh, the mixture of the two just seemed to really work. And so I just put those there. On the back side, I just covered it with paper and then I did ink it with um, the Close to My Heart Espresso ink, I think that's what it was. Yeah, and this is just a die cut from uh, Gina Marie and I printed the swap information there. And uh, this is just paper that I had in my stash and I wanted to finish the back. Even though you don't really see it, I just wanted to finish it. So this is the mixed media canvas that I created for Deb. and. I am not super into the mixed media. I do enjoy it and I'm getting more and more into it. Um, and I had a lot of fun with this. I like this uh, project because I got it done in one sitting and sometimes you just, to get your mojo going, you just need a project that'll let you do that. So had a lot of fun and really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.